We live in a world today where everything is part and parcel of our culture and Asian food is very much British today. ZestQuest Asia was established as a means of making young British budding chefs aware of the fact that they have a massive cuisine in this country that they have never thought of as a career. So I've just, I've just <laughs> put it to the mat room. No pressure. Trying to get as close to the, uh, the bones as possible. And then I've taken the fillet and split the fillet in half to get the beautiful colouring on the side. So I'm going to use that piece to pan fry. So what, what's in the marinade? Yeah. Uh, we've got chilies, lots of spices, um, jaggery, things like that, uh, pickled chilies. That's really Sri Lankan authentic flavour. And then with the other half, I'm going to put some marinade on the other half of the fish which I've skinned, and that will go into a croquette which I'll wrap in deep fry. ZestQuest Asia hopefully will ignite that passion amongst young British budding chefs to look at Asian food as a full-time career option so that the skills gap which so desperately needs to be filled in Britain can be fulfilled. This time it's been very interesting. We have some lovely new teams on board, uh, which is uh, fabulous with Colchester and Hackney. And we've had a very good morning with the uh, University of West London, Birmingham and Sheffield. It's going to be very, very fierce. If the food tastes as good as it looks at the moment, it's going to be very interesting. Britain is gradually closing its doors to foreign labour and that means we have to develop, nurture and care for our own homegrown talent. Zest Quest Asia is trying to encourage the government and colleges to get the passion within themselves to make sure that Asian cuisine eventually falls within the curriculum. This is so that Asian food may be actively developed to deliver the training, the knowledge and the skills required for one of the largest and fastest growing sectors of the hospitality industry, Asian cuisine. Thank you all so much for coming. This is our fourth year and uh, it's grown as Bill said before. It does take a lot of hard work to put this together. We have a fabulous team to back us up and uh, it's only thanks to all the hard work that everybody puts in and I think that people believe in the competition now as much as we believe in it that's helping it to grow. The important thing was to try and do something now to get the colleges involved. And the best thing was to launch a competition where it was intercollegiate and so that we could enthuse young kids of our future generations of our industry to take up Asian cooking as an option or as a first choice career. I know they are all tempted by the Michelin star and they're all tempted by French and British restaurants, but Asian food is today just the restaurant sector it is a 4.2 billion pound industry. That's not counting your ready meals, that's not counting your supermarkets, etc. It's a 4.2 billion pound industry. It's the fastest growing sector. And I wish that the young students that have taken part today will consider Asian food as a choice at least. Nice to see such a big audience and Cyrus has already highlighted it's great to see this competition growing to the level it's got to already, so thank you for being here as well. For those that perhaps um, don't know um, how this all works, 
Uh, they had to do today, they had to do a, a two hour cookery session with three courses and also they also had to do a presentation, a PowerPoint or a, a, a mood board, whatever they decided to discuss about what their menu is about, how it all came about and to explain how they arrived at what they did. Ladies and gentlemen, you did really, really well. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Sadly, there is only one winner, of course. And from the outset, when we received the um, paper judging on this particular team, they were outstanding. And we said if they could deliver what they said they would on paper, they would win comfortably. And I have the pleasure of awarding ZestQuest 2017 title to University of Birmingham. When uh, a mutual friend came to me to tell me of Chef Cyrus's idea for a small cookery competition to promote uh, authentic Asian cuisine within education, we were of course interested. After we discussed with our friends in Japan, we decided it would be a great thing to do, and, and here we are today. And so, as an ambassador of my business, it gives me great pleasure to stand here and congratulate the winners of ZestQuest Asia 2017, these guys from Birmingham. Well done, you. The question, of course, is what exactly have they won? Let's take a look. Guys, I can tell you what you've won is an awesome 10 day trip to Japan. It's amazing to win Zestquest Asia. We're a bit shocked, we don't really know what to say. Um, we're just really happy that we put so much effort in and it's come back for this. I enjoyed. Six months of effort, early mornings, and a big thanks to Chef Walker for just inviting us to compete in the first place. It's going to be an amazing experience.